okay so our web page is coming together we have our header our mission part with image text over it and also we have t of the month part featured t part now we have to make locations part and uh, contacts and footer it will be the easiest part of this sorry it will be the hardest part for our locations to to make but uh, contacts and footer it is easy okay so let's begin we create other div id locations so we can send our page to that part and here we have div class banner let me explain what we are going to do sorry so here we have a couple of things that we want to accomplish okay so first we want to link our locations our box here to locations so we already done that but later we want to add container in that container we will have image but we will also have locations text we will then have our flex box container which contains our three different parts about locations okay so follow me now this is our banner this is our main image this whole thing is banner okay so we say inside we want div class to say text top and inside we will have our paragraph that will say location or just location I don't know locations maybe it's better um, then we add div class box container yes box container in that box container <coughs> which will be flex box we will have our boxes so we have div class box so, pa, pa. box inside of our box we have this h3 you just add h3 as your this is h3 this is paragraph i will skip this part so we added our text and headers and paragraphs and now we can uh, make our adjustments in css yes i think we done everything we want yes so now we say dot box container max width is this then margin will be oh, sorry. okay so now we add banner first our we have to style our banner we don't style id locations because uh, it is just a link we say banner height is 500 pixels max width is 
this margin 40 pixel out 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 <coughs> padding will be top 85 pixel back ground image URL will be from locations do we have it here cozy I cannot see locations where is locations here so we add this to our code we say that then we add this and then we say what we say every time we have some image background repeat so, no repeat background position center and we want it to be cover back ground size where is our size here it is it is going to be cover no we add contain we want cover okay and that's it for our banner okay let's see what we made just here f5 okay so we have our image we have our text, we have our um, text for our boxes, and let's style our boxes so it looks nice. Text on the top, this part, text on the top, locations, okay? We want to style it to say text top font size for example will be 43 pixels if it will be enough then font weight bold so we are styling our text then we want to say box container this will this will be for our boxes for our um, this is like cover like flex box in which we are going to have our child's boxes okay <coughs> max width is this we already set this margin will be I think they already told us to be 15 pixel Okay, so we control save this and let's see what we made here. Okay, this is our boulder type and we are slowly but surely getting our box container here. Okay, so we say now box dot box. Okay. height 300 pixel padding is 20 pixel margin bottom alto let's see what that makes just in a moment flex basis for example, let's delete this so you could see. Flex basis is actually just the width, the width, because we have flex box. We are going to say okay, mm. <laughs> flex basis. Um, 
box sizing box sizing it will be border box every time you have padding and width you have to add this box sizing border box okay background color background color black and they want also opacity to be one but pff, for our sake let's make it 180 to look it like good okay so we changed a couple of things but nothing happens why here here we have our container but <coughs> our boxes are not aligned and they don't have space between we will add it just now okay so let's see what we just made let's see first what uh, how we can make this okay so we have here display flex we have justify content is space between for our box we said margin bottom auto okay um display flex justify content split between okay so let's see if this is working actually up this is it <coughs> why we have here um locations text we made it because Five. For example, if we add this padding top 120, our text and everything will go down. Let's take a look. Okay, do you see? It is not, not longer here. Let's change this F for you to see it better. Control save and then go here. Okay, it's going down and down and down. So let's change this. Padding top was, I think, 85. Okay, this is what we want. And let's add our uh, contacts and footer. This is really the easy part. I will skip uh, writing of this. You will see, I will explain it later, okay? <coughs> so, what we have here is we created our div class contact. They said they want h1 fatigue cozy, h5, h5 for our number and email. So we are closing that div. We are not adding anything just now for uh, CSS for for this part but we are going to make some little adjustments for our footer okay because we want our footer to be where like display block and we want it to float left and we also want it to be padding left. They specified it to be 20 pixel. Okay, control save. And let's see if we add this. Yes, it's actually the same as they said. Yeah, let's make our, where is our specs? I don't see, doesn't matter. Okay, it's the same. This is the same that we made, okay? That's it. Uh, we finished our project. 
what is this? We don't have our line here. Yes, 